At five, a South Georgia judge is getting criticism after she closed all of the court hearings in the case of Tara Grinstead. She closed those hearings to the public. Channel 2's Tony Thomas is live with why one legal expert says this could prevent the public from knowing exactly what happened to that missing woman. Tony? Javita, a lawyer for Channel 2 Action News, the AJC and Associated Press sent this letter to the judge this afternoon asking that she reconsider her actions. Now, one legal expert, as you said, who's not associated with this case, told me this afternoon those judges' actions are the first he's ever seen like this in his entire career. This is a bigger problem than the gag order. Marietta-based attorney Philip Holloway believes this ruling by Erwin County Judge Melanie Cross is out of line. If this current order, as it's currently written, stands, it could conceivably mean that we may never know what happened to Tara Grinstead because something like a guilty plea could happen literally behind closed doors. Judge Cross first mentioned the orders to seal all pretrial motions last Thursday. The same rulings say all hearings will be held in camera or in private until further order of this court. What's odd to me is that you seem to have the prosecution and the defense and the court all on the same page. The Terry Grinstead murder case has been in the news since 2005 when the beauty queen disappeared. Recently, authorities charged Ryan Duke with her murder. I feel like that Mr. Duke's right to the trial will certainly be harmed. Duke's lawyer asked for the gag and seal orders. In response, Channel 2 Action News attorney Leslie Gaither sent this letter to the judge Monday, saying in part, we would submit that the orders are both procedurally and substantive improper. In 2010, the Supreme Court of the United States slapped down a DeKalb County judge for doing something much less than this in terms of closing the court to the public. In a weekend email exchange with lawyers, the judge is said to have written that she didn't see a need for more hearings on these issues, but will include her replies in a decision she's expected to make later this week on the potential of loosening that gag order. Live in Gwinnett County, Tony Thomas, Channel 2 Action News. More details on arrest in the Grinstead murder case earlier this month. Police charged a second man, Bo Dukes, with helping hide Grinstead's body. We were there in Ben Hill County when he walked out of jail with a bond. Dukes was a high school classmate of Ryan Duke, the first suspect charged in the woman's case.